Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time, welcome. Glad you can be here. Uh, so we got this uh, song from a cat named Mr. G, yet another artist that has yet to be on the channel. And the song is called Unsocial Media. Uh, he's part of a group called Concrete Slugs. Um, they're a pretty diverse group. I've seen some stuff from them on Instagram. Um, you know, they have a lot of different styles. It's uh, very cool, very different. Um, they even have some, uh, I don't know if you cast remember, but the movie Judgment Night. There was a song too. I can't remember who did it. Um, someone tells me it was Onyx, but I don't know if it was Onyx. I don't know. But there was the song Judgment Night. Um, there was a movie called Judgment Night. I think it had Dennis Leary in it. I think it had um, Everlast from uh, from House of Pain. Anyways, they have, they have some, some of that hardcore, heavy metal rock type of hip hop as well, if that interests you. You can check out Concrete Slugs uh, and, and see what they have for you in that. Um, I've been feeling a certain way about social media over the last month or so. So when I saw this one called Unsocial Media, I thought, what the hell? It's probably gonna be right up my lane today. So I'm gonna jump right in, give it a listen. See what it's all about. They say a new form of terror in town, nah, it's been around now for several years. It used to be fun for everyone, but now it's turned to our deadliest fear. A new commodity that's honestly the hottest property and profits even more than oil and gold, okay? Because it's a lottery just logging on and scrolling unbeknownst to most of the Okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> the way that beat comes in and Mr. G comes, changes his style, comes pounded in it. Freaking love that. Um, already, you can tell the visuals are kind of cool. They have that um, right here. It's like hours wasted in likes. And it's just like, you see that they're just, they're just going up, but the hours are wasted. They're just pounding up. And um, he says something to the effect, like, um, basically what he's getting is the fact that it's not going to be too long from now when, like, the amount of time we spend on our phone, and it could be there now, but like the amount of times we spend on our phone, our faces, you know, locked into social media and stuff, is going to be a bigger commodity um, money maker than uh, oil or gold. Uh, it's probably not too far off. To our deadliest fear. A new commodity that's honestly the hottest property and profits even more than oil and gold, okay? Because it's a lottery just logging on and scrolling unbeknownst to most of haters being bought and then sold. I'm afraid it's mad and sinister. It's a game that's being played by the brains at the range of Cambridge Analytica. It paints a savage picture knowing all the way our lives are being shaped by the many crazy ways they have a grip on you. Most are dumbed down as much as humans can be. And all the exercise when the thumbs are moving the screen. And it's proof is to see the verbal communication has been replaced with computers it seems. Even all right, man. Yeah, this is exactly this is the exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, I mean, you see this group of just zombies walking with their faces in their phone. Uh, so verbal communication has gone way down. People, so many people lack the ability to have a normal civil conversation. It's almost like uh, they forgot they've forgotten how to do it. Um, and online, you can forget about that shit because the moment you try to have a, a civil conversation online, it degrades so quickly um, into any number of ways. Um, something as simple as, uh, you know, saying you like a certain football player or you like a certain basketball player. Like I, I, I'm a Jordan, I'm a, you know, I'm a Michael Jordan over LeBron guy uh, for my money. Um, but then people would call me all kinds of names and tell me to go fuck myself, hope my kid gets cancer, all because I prefer Michael Jordan over LeBron James. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> this is this. I think this video is going to be pretty deep, and the and the the art the art and everything is just terrific. The 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 veins like going into the social media right into your veins like drugs. Um, uh, you had the uh, the phone looking like a, a mouse trap, and you have all the computer mice coming up to the to the the rat trap. Yeah, man, this is pretty cool. Education has been replaced with computers, it seems. From youths in their teens, middle-aged and even older than that. It's got control over most, it's a fact. For some folk in the trap, their social media personas just a way to cover all the holes in the cracks. So really, how many hours a day is fake through to your screen? I bet it's more than you would believe. So while you're doing your thing, 
Just think of all the real life and beauty outside that you could have seen I used to do the same, logging in and lost in the cloud Scrolling through the tons of bollocks I've found And since I dropped my accounts, broke the locks and the bounds I've noticed now there's a whole lot of zombies about We ride the waves of this ocean yeah. and drown I mean, the, I mean, again, I know I'm talking about the artwork, but look at this, man. This friggin' your phone is like a jail cell inside is hashtag freedom, which is <laughs> so ironic, but it's hilarious. Um, had that woman doing the duck lips, taking a selfie of herself where the world is burning down around her. Um, God damn. Notice now there's a whole lot of zombies about We ride the waves of this ocean yeah. And drown inside the fake news On every single page that we open It's the way that we've chosen So many Facebook relationships Have been made and they're broken Share your life and status you've wrote Praying enough likes validates you In the way that you hope You feel your pain and your s- Did you see that? It says, it, says, it says validate me Then it says date me Then it says lie like, like, He made a comment too about uh, basically, like the social media is like almost like a mask that you wear to cover the holes and the cracks. Uh, I tell my girls this all the time: like the shit you're seeing on social media, none of it is true, man. It's lighting, it's the way they're turned, it's the makeup they've used. You can't compare yourself to somebody online and think that they're so much more beautiful than you. Or, I mean, Christ, you can you can rent in half of a plane in in L.A. So you can so make you get your photo sh- uh, photo shoot done in this half a plane. So it looks like you own a private plane. Like that's how, like that's how people's minds work. Is they have to be seen on a private plane just to get validation from people who don't give a shit about them. Um, it's, it's, yeah, man. <laughs> I don't get me started on this shit. So many Facebook relationships have been made and they're broken. Share your life and status you've wrote. Praying enough likes validates you in the way that you hope. You feel your pain and your soul. I didn't see it the first time where the Instagram uh, thing fell down and, and then you really got to see what was behind there. And it was rather than a, a woman posing, uh, it was someone crutched up in a ball with the word help written on the wall. Man, that shit's deep. Um, man, Mr. G is just killing this, man. I'm thoroughly impressed with this guy's style. Um, the message he's delivering is terrific. The uh, the production is is high quality, uh, and I mean this. I think when I logged on for this song, I think there's like 46 views of this video, which is a goddamn criminal, uh, in my mind. Uh, simply, I mean, if you take away the even the lyrics of this, and just on the the video aspect of itself, it deserves more than 46 views, man. But as but as a full package, it's it's criminal that that this hasn't been seen. But to think a couple dozen thumbs up and really ever make a change is a joke. Username, password, location, email. What's your date of birth? Are you male or female? Fill in address. Thank you. And last thing we need is the three. I didn't see that. <laughs> I didn't realize what was happening there. I was looking at the baby and then the last second I realized the parents are too busy taking a selfie. Uh, and the baby's wandering around wondering what the fuck's going on. <laughs> Never make a change is a joke. Username, password, location, email. What's your date of birth? Are you male or female? Bill and address. Thank you. And last thing we need is the three digits on the back of your car. Confirm form submission. Payment accepted. Online shopping is the way they expect it. They study what you like and create a perspective. Force feed you adverts on every page you've inspected. It's all controlled by these mega machines that take control of what enters your screens. They pump us with hatred and racism on the daily. God damn, man. I, I, I was, I think I've talked about that a couple of times this week, if not last week, was about that this constant barrage of hate um, and, and this division. It's like, it's just keep on pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. It's like, you're not angry enough. You know, you need to, you know, you need to find more hatred. You need to be more angry. If you're not angry, then something's wrong with you. If you're not paying attention, you know, this, that, it's like, the, it's this constant, um, you know, you have to feel a certain way. They keep telling us how we're supposed to feel, man. I don't understand how we've allowed it to get to this point. Um, I really don't. It's making me, it's making me lose my mind a little bit. Um, and, and he says to hear about, he's talking, he's talking about the advertisements and stuff. I remember Vanessa and I went to Lowe's, which is a big uh, hardware store here in Canada. And I remember going uh, uh, through the doors and there was like a kiosk and this woman was selling uh, uh, solar panels 
And I had no interest, but she caught us and we were there for about 10 minutes. I've never Googled solar panels. I've never cared about solar panels. But just sitting there for 10 minutes for the last, for the next week or so, every single ad on every ad, on every website I visited, Facebook, all that kind of shit, every ad was solar panels. And I've never, like, another one walking, and I'm sure you guys all have your own stories, but like another one I was walking, listening to YouTube to a podcast. And as I'm walking past a liquor store, an advertisement comes on the podcast telling me what wine is on sale at the liquor store. I mean, that's where we're headed, man. I can really see that. We're just walking through the mall and with with an earpiece in it and it tells you, hey, Joe, you know, we have, uh, we have you know, Levi's on sale in your size. Um, you know, there are three pairs left. Like, I can really see that that's the way we're headed and why that may seem convenient in some ways. I mean, that's just our privacy and shit just going way out the window, man. And once that's gone, we ain't getting that shit back. Now, I, I used to make fun of my friend because all he had was a flip phone. And now I know, man, he, he was thinking right. His head was in the right place and I was, I'm the one that was fucked. Jesus Christ. Again, the spitting facts, man. The fact that this person's going to kill themselves rather than helping, they'd much rather capture this shit on the phone so they can get a viral video and have it shared a couple million times. Um, and the one thing he said that I, I've agreed with everything he said so far except for this one thing. He mentions the fact like we knew that this was going to happen. I really don't think we did. I think at the beginning, everyone was kind of uh, had the wool pulled over their eyes a little bit. Even the people who were developing this, I don't think they really understood uh, what it was until they started to make money. And I think at that point, that's when they realized we could make a hell of a lot of money, man. We could become billionaires if we tap into, you know, uh, the algorithms and stuff can make sure we, because the more the angry you are, uh, the longer you stay online, man, they keep you engaged with anger and fear and hate. That's how they keep you engaged in these platforms. The longer that they keep you engaged, the more money they make. It's, it's that simple, man. It's really that simple. Um, so I don't think they understood that. It, it'd be like a the person who created the uh, gas combustion engine would be, you know, never would that person think that there'd be a car that can go 300 miles per hour. Like, it wouldn't even cross their mind that that's even possible. Um, so I don't think the people understood that when they created these monsters that they created. And they, yeah, they, they started off as being good and now they're just, now they are just used to destroy people. Uh, I've had, my daughter's had uh, people tell her to go kill herself or, you know, um, call her all kinds of names, call her a slut and stuff. She's never even kissed a boy. And yet they're calling her a slut. Like, it's it's just remarkable. And when I was growing up, man, you had to you had to have a set of nuts on you because if you wanted to say something to someone, you said it to their face, and if you had and you had to risk getting uh, punched out, or um, you know, or if you say it to somebody else behind their back, it's going to get back to them, and then you're going to watch, look over your shoulder because you're going to get your ass kicked. I mean, that shit. People have lost that. People think they can say whatever they want online, man. Um, Keyboard, war keyboard warriors, so to speak. The rife and cyber bullies have a way of making kids think and taking their life. And now it's trouble we're in, women stuck in a spin, being made to feel worthless and ugly as sin. So to cover up the struggle within, one click and a beauty feel was applied to cover their skin. It's all fake in the most vile way, where your real life skewed on your profile page. You can choose what most I can claim that you're all of those things, but the truth is the... You see that, man? Like, they're both of those people are... You know, had long faces on and um, were unhappy, but everything they were doing was LOL and happy face and all that kind of stuff. Completely uh, lying through their teeth about it. Um, uh, I remember this one time I was on Twitter and I saw this woman post like, oh my God, my son has just been taken away from an ambulance. I don't know what to do. Please send love and prayers. And it made me like so disgusted because I'm thinking, uh, either one, you're full of shit and you're doing it just to get uh, attention, or two, you're a horrible human being that's more interested in getting likes 
from a bunch of people you don't know uh, than you are about your own son being rushed to the hospital in the ambulance. Uh, either one of those ways is fucking disgusting in my mind. Clear sin, so to cover up the struggle within One click and a beauty feel was applied to cover their skin It's all fake in the most vile way Where your real life skewed on your profile page You can choose what most I can claim That you're all of those things But the truth is the most vital name And the thing that really makes me insane Is when you wear your grievances and act like you're saying it plain You can bitch, you can moan, and you can complain But very few, if any, are ever naming the names So please ignore all these words at your peril Facebook is just the work of the devil Open up the curtains and revel In the fact that there's nothing better than connections on a personal level This ain't a new form of terror in town, nah He's been around now for several years It used to be fun for everyone But now it's turned to our deadliest fear But I did put a picture of my chicken carbonara up And I'm really disappointed that there's five people lying to you not my fucking carbonara? I could have uh, I could have went on a lot more about that uh, but I'd already ranted enough uh, a lot of cool bars in that man a lot of stuff that people need to hear um, uh, spoke nothing but truth during that video man cool track um, I, I, I liked it um, a lot of heavy things in that man a lot of heavy things and I was already feeling that way like I said about a lot of those uh, so just I mean, it's a little, it's good to know that there are people who are waking up to it and there are people who are trying to get away, um, trying to distance themselves from it because it's so dangerous and so, um, you know, the very last thing there when they're showing him, I think it was like with a gun to his head and you see all those horrible things that were written. Um, things that we say, that people say to each other online, like a football player will miss a kick. And then people will tell him that I hope your kid, like they'll message him on Twitter or, or Instagram stuff, say, I hope your kid gets cancer and, you know, drink bleach and go fuck yourself, go die. You know, I hope your kids die. Like, this is the things that people say to each other, man. Like that, where have we gone? <laughs> like, seriously, where have we gone as a society that we're going to speak to another human being with that type of hatred, man? I don't know how to, I, I don't know how you get that, uh, rabbit back in the hat i really don't i don't know where we go from here hopefully more people will wake up and realize that uh, that's just not good for us but anyways hope you stuck around man hope you enjoyed the track uh hope you enjoyed the big breakdown um like i said uh, concrete slugs has a, a very diverse sound with a bunch of different stuff that they've done so go over check them out give them a watch i think they have a few videos up man give them a subscribe give them a like do your thing show them some love I appreciate you all here. Um, I got, uh, like I said, I got Capo coming up on Throwback Thursday. Um, I'm not too sure what else I'm going to do, but there's going to be a couple of vids, videos uh, for sure. Um, and um, I think Friday we have a couple of tracks. I mean, I actually, I think a, a Tremendous is dropping a track on Thursday. So lots going on this week. I think a new BVA is coming on Friday. So um, it be a cool way to end the week. But I appreciate all y'all. Thanks for being part of my... Uh, my community uh until the next video stay safe stay off social no i'm joking <laughs> stay safe and be good to each other